In this lesson, let's talk about the reduce method. So basically we used to you know, call reduce method when we have to reduce to a certain value. For example, we want to take sum of all the numbers okay, or multiply all the numbers. Okay, if, if let's say we have been given a list, we want to multiply all the numbers to get a result or take a sum of all the numbers or do a certain operation on all the elements and reduce to a single value, then we go for reduce. Or we want to take the maximum or minimum, something like that. Okay. So let's say uh, we have an array of uh, list of integers. So arrays dot as list and let me take some element like one, two, three, four and five. Let me store into a local variable and these are the numbers. All right. Now our objective is to convert them into a stream first and then call the reduce method. So let's say in this example, you know, we want to take sum of all the numbers. Okay. So in the reduce, what we need to do is we need to pass the elements as a lambda and then we need to take the sum of them. So what we are doing is we are passing first to taking the sum and then reduce will have some value, sum of these two, then three will be passed along with the sum of first two and sum of the first two will be a and b will be this value three then it will take some of that and then it will go to the next value and so on. This is how the reduce works. Okay. So let me put a semicolon store into a local variable. Uh, remember it returns an optional. Okay. So now to check that. So this is sum. Let me, you know, name the variables properly. Then if I print, but before printing, we should check if sum dot is present okay so whenever optional of something is returned it is very good practice to check whether element is present or not sometimes element is not present and if we call the get method then it will throw an exception okay so since we are into the true block we can print the elements so we can just print sum now we should call get because sum will give the optional of the value so we can call this get method if the element is not present, then in that case, we can print no element found. No element found in the stream. All right. So there is nothing to add, right? Let me save and run this. So we can see sum is coming as 15. So 3, 3, 6, 4, 10, 5, 15, right? So we are able to use the reduce method to get the sum of all the elements of the list. Now let's take another example where what we will be doing is uh, we will be taking maximum of all the elements. Okay. So let's see in the same uh, list. So we can do like numbers dot stream. So we convert it into a stream. Now we need to call the reduce. Now inside the reduce, we need to call max of integer max of integer because this uh, these elements are of integer type right so we can call integer of max all right this is it so it's very simple now max and let us print this max uh, again it's an optional so uh, we need to keep the check if the max dot is present then s out uh, better to copy this code rather than writing the whole thing just change the variable uh, max dot get no element found in the stream okay fine so message could be same i mean ideally we shouldn't be but since this is an example to get the max and this was an example to get sum of elements all right so let me save this and run this so we have five as the maximum element. Okay. So this is how we can get the maximum. Now we have this minimum also. So if we want to see minimum, we can see the minimum here. So basically whatever methods are present in this integer class, they can be used. So these are all the methods, max means sum, compare to, and there are many more. So you can practice them and understand how does it work. All right.